This is a former Ron Caps car, as you know, Alan, but maybe the folks in the grandstands don't. When uh, Caps went off and started his own team and all, there was a little time when Tobler left that this car was available. And they said, Paul, you should get it. And he did. And so as far as parts and pieces and machinery, you see McLeod and FTI on there. But originally, this thing was born as a Napa Dodge that had great success with Caps behind the wheel and uh, Tobler and Dustin doing the tuning. And so Paul scooped it up and... He's got a car that can take a win. Just got to get it all right. Well, let's see. In Pro Stock Motorcycle, we started with a right lane single. And Gianna made a solid run. If not spectacular, but a solid run. In Pro Stock, we started with a right lane single. And Fernando, well, didn't get in second here. And in Funny Car, we start with a right lane single. I like the first way better. Certainly. I think Paul would, too. Everything about in car in Denver just sounds different. It's one of the rare places on tour when the blowers on these things spin so fast, they're actually idling under boost. Now, as a general rule, and anybody that drives a blower car, if you got a if you got a supercharger on your street car, you know if it's just sitting idling or if you're cruising around, you're not under boost. You're just running on the engine. But because the blowers are so hopped up on these things as far as overdrive, you're actually idling with boost pressure in the manifold here in Denver most of the time. And that's something that doesn't happen every place on tour by a long shot. So they'll wave Paul Lee up. Last minute adjustment on the wheelie bar. And let's send the boss down to Pepsi side of the racetrack. See if he can start us off with a solid run. Cylinder out. 416, 291 miles an hour. Definitely had a cylinder out on the right side, but it did go down the racetrack to the finish line 4.16 seconds something you can work with and something that will pretty much ensure you will not have to be the first car down the racetrack later on tonight in the second qualifying session we talk about it on a pretty consistent basis that the sunday is race day but the race really starts in q1 and progresses through q3 or four depending where we're at and that's right bandamere we got four qualifying sessions here this weekend you get two today but getting down the racetrack getting some good quality data to build on they're looking good they others will look better no doubt but they have started off with something they can work with well it went down the racetrack and so you've gained you've gained some information there that you could lose there was definitely a cylinder out on one side of it but it was still kind of thumping its way on down there